So welcome back to the channel everyone. This is another episode of Ask Triple M where I try to answer some of you guys' questions uh, that you guys post to me, whether it's via email or in the comment section, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Um, this particular person, longtime subscriber, uh, as always, I am going to blur out their information, but if you're watching this video, please drop your comment in the comment section. I will go ahead and pin that comment to the top. So this particular question is about adapters, Amazon adapters particularly, or any um, USB adapters that you guys use for your Fire Stick. So I have done a video where I demonstrated a USB dongle. This is an OTG dongle with an ethernet adapter and that gives you a wired connection if you guys are having issues with your wi-fi so his question is hi mr triple m what can you tell me about the amazon adapter and others that allows you to connect directly to one's router why do some people say that it went back to wi-fi because their adapter is slower so gonna test out a couple adapters today particularly the one that i demonstrated in, in the previous video and also bought one of the amazon adapters and i'll be testing both uh, just to see what speeds we're getting versus the wi-fi so on my fire stick here i do have two apps um the one i'll be using is analytics it just makes it easier for me to test after the conclusion of the test i'll go ahead and just uh give away the adapter that i purchased the amazon adapter that is uh, and as always just drop a comment in the comment section and that's how winner will be chosen so first I am paying for 120 megabits per second, guys. So on my computer, that's what I'm getting. However, on my Fire Stick, I am not getting that, whether it's wired or Wi-Fi. So keep that in mind. So the first test on my Fire Stick, I'm going over the Wi-Fi. Now I tested both on 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz. I'm getting about the same speed. In my case, I'm about five and a half feet away from my router. So I should have decent signal, even though it's going through the desk and a couple other pieces of equipment. So we're gonna test it right now on the Wi-Fi. Notice on top it does have my Wi-Fi. It does show that it is on the 5 gigahertz band right now. And it's just a quick test. Telling you right now that my download speed is 63 and it's testing the upload speed right now. So like I said, analytic, big fan of this. It tells you what kinds of videos you can stream with this. Uh, so if you guys have 8K, this will uh, be plenty of speed to stream your 8K video. So 63 download. 11 upload but this is our second test a little bit better score we're getting uh, 72 down and 12 uploads so a little bit of an improvement than what we got on the first test let's try it one more time all right so there's my third test 68 download 12 uploads so speed pretty consistent i'll go ahead and put the average right there in the middle now i have the generic usb adapter this is essentially a usb dongle that goes to ethernet that goes into my otg cable all right so we're relaunching the application and let's see what speeds we're getting we're going to run three tests once again and then we're going to average them out i notice in the top left it does say wired ethernet all right so we're getting 73 download 12 upload and let's go ahead and test it again all right so second test we're getting 79 download 12 upload and let's test it one more time and the third test we're getting 79 download and 12 upload so once again i'll go ahead and put the average right here on the screen so next, let's test the Amazon adapter. And the first one is 79 download, 12 upload. Let's test again. 79 down again, 12 up. We'll do one more. And 77 download, 12 upload for the third and final test. So put the average on the screen again. And so my conclusion is that the speed that I'm getting originally from the Wi-Fi would be good enough for me to stream anything that I want. However, for you guys that are seeing your speed drop by 50%, 70%, which I've seen some reports, it might be worth it to get one of these adapters. Also, if you guys do have a lot of interference in your house, especially if you're on the 2.4 gigahertz network, these two devices might be something to add to your setup. The one thing to keep in mind is that a wired network connection will always be more stable guys so if you're seeing fluctuations if you're seeing dropouts if you're too far away from your router and you have the option to add a wire connection i'll definitely uh, go ahead and do that once again i will be giving away the wireless amazon adapter i probably won't ship this out to you just because it's only uh, 14 dollars or so but i will go ahead and either paypal you the money or uh, find another way to get it over to you so i will be picking a winner for this on wednesday the 20th please just drop your comment in the comment section below hit the thumbs up share this video if you think it might help someone else Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.